Hi, my name is Garth Wyatt. I'm a fish biologist with Portland Journal Electric. Today we're going to talk about how we bypass salmon and steelhead around the Hydra project. Most of you are familiar with fish ladders for getting adults upstream past the dam, but in this situation we're actually trying to get the juveniles downstream past the project. When salmon and steelhead enter the reservoir, there's a loss of current. What we need to do is simulate that current flowing out of the reservoir, which is what this facility behind me does. It's called the floating surface collector, and it acts as a giant vacuum to suck those juveniles into a bypass system and safely pass them downriver of the project. So here we are, seven point miles downstream from the floating surface collector. After those fish are vacuumed out of the reservoir, they get put in that bypass pipe and ultimately come through here where we're able to identify and enumerate all the fish that pass through the project. So what you're looking at here are mostly juvenile steelhead and coho. We'll pull these fish out, anesthetize them, and send them on their way after they recover. So here we're putting fish in an anesthetic. Much like if you have to go to the doctor to be put to sleep to have a surgery, we're doing the same thing to these fish. That way we can identify them to the species level, check them for injury, and get a count. Here we have a juvenile steelhead smoke. This fish probably took two years to grow to this length. And another two years of feeding out in the ocean, that fish will probably be upwards of three feet long. Here we have a juvenile coho salmon. This smolt is on his way to the ocean. Hopefully he'll come back in a year and a half and be upwards of two to three feet long. So these little smolts have all been counted and evaluated and they're ready to go to the ocean. So we're gonna pull the gate and let them go. Here you go guys. So here we are at River Mill Dam, and we're looking at the end of that seven mile long bypass pipe where those juveniles have gone around all three hydro projects and are now on their way to the Pacific Ocean.